Hi. So in this video, we're going to see how to sketch the graph of the square root equations, two variables. We've got our example right here. y equals 2 times the square root of 1 minus x plus 2. Uh, the starting point for the graph is the eponymous starting point. How do we find the starting point from the equation? Um, you want to find out when the square root is 0, and so you do that by setting the radicand equal to 0 and solving. In this case, the radicand is what's inside the square root, the 1 minus x. We set that equal to 0 and solve. We can solve that by adding x to both sides. Negative x, positive x is 0. 0 plus x is x. So the starting point is when x is 1. We need the other coordinate. So we place x with 1 in the equation. And we get 1 minus 1, which is 0. Remember that was our goal, was to make that 0. And so we see that y is just 3. Okay, so our starting point is 1, 3. There's our starting point. Now, a lot of times the square root graph goes off to the right in this sort of shape. Um, sometimes it goes upside down, sometimes it goes to the left. Uh, I think the best way to graph it is just to try going to the right. If you end up with the square root of a negative and you get undefined value, you know that the graph really goes to the left, and so then you move to the left. Let's see how that works in practice. So we're just going to try going to the right to get our next point. And remember, we're right here, or x is 1, so let's try when x is 2. So let's replace x with 2 in this and see what happens. Right, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So you get the square root of a negative here, which is undefined. This means that it actually doesn't go to the right. It means that the graph's going to go to the left, and that's the farthest right that you can be. So no big deal. Now we, go to go, now we know that it goes to the left, so we'll try an x value that's to the left. If that gave you a nice real number, you would go ahead and plot it, and it would go to the right, and you'd be good. Um, so going to the left, right, we're at x equals 1. Going to the left would be x equals 0. Now we're going to try x equals 0. All right, 1 minus 0 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. And so we get 5. So our second point is 0. Five. Go ahead and put that on the graph. And we need a third point. So we, we know it's going off to the left here, right? So we know it's headed in that direction, and we just need a third point. So we're going to go further to the left. Now, usually we start getting some decimal values here and I think it's best to keep going until because you will get another nice whole number if you keep going. So how far do you need to go? Well it depends on the equation. Uh, you can just keep going with whole numbers until you get another nice value. So for instance we were at 1 and then we did 0 so the next number would be negative 1 and when you do x equal to negative 1 
you get 1 minus negative 1, which is 1 plus 1, which is 2. And square root of 2 is not a nice number. So that's not going to be a good whole number value. So we go further, go to negative 2. All right, let's try x equal to negative 2. And then you have 1 minus negative 2, which is 1 plus 2, which is 3. Square root of 3, again, not a whole number. So sometimes you have to go a little, little far to get to 1. Just keep going, you'll eventually get to 1. Our next number would be negative 3, and this is going to work. Because 1 minus negative 3 is 1 plus 3, and 1 plus 3 is 4. And square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And so we get y is 7. So we get negative 3, 7 for our third point. So going to negative 3 and then up to 7. Right there. Well, that's a little, a little too high. The final step is to connect these with a smooth curve. Remember, our graphs before now have all been infinite in both directions. This one starts at the starting point and then goes infinitely in the other direction towards the other points. So start at the starting point, and it's a nice curved line that goes through the other two points, and then you can put an arrow on the end because that is going to keep going in that direction. It does not go past that starting point. And there is your graph.